Grain particle screening is a useful tool to determine if we process corn grain properly for cow fermentation and digestibility. We'll be using a series of five screens. You'll notice their number that is the squares per inch. The micron size is next to it listed there and gives you a little idea on what that corn looks like from coarse corn to ground corn to literally powder out there in the feeding program. We have our five screens stacked on top of each other here. We will be adding about a cup and a half to two cups of dry ground grain that we're dropping into the screen here. And we will then go ahead and shake that. You can either keep it flat on the table or you can hold it because again, we're not too worried about shaking the particles vertically or horizontally here. The first screen we took off, we see it's pretty well done. We're done with our second screen. Uh, very little product, product on that. We then go to our third screen and now we have a lot more particle. Notice we'll switch back and forth. I move it around with my hand to make sure all the grain had access to go through the holes on that number of third screen. And once we're done with that, we will then take it off. We continue shaking the, the fourth screen. This is a much finer screen. This is a number 30 screen. You really have to hit it and try to make sure it drives the flour through. It doesn't get hung up on the grain particles. Some people even bang it on the table to try to get it separated. And of course, the last screen is the flour, and that really is corn flour particle size that you could actually bake with it. Next, we're going to go ahead and dump each of these fractions into paper plates, and we'll weigh that on a scale. Next, we're going to weigh this on a postage scale. We will tear it by putting it on, pushing the button, and that zeroes out the weight of the paper plate, which is about eight grams. Next, we're going to weigh each of the fractions, 161 grams on the actually third screen down. There wasn't any on the second and first screen. Next, we want the fourth screen, that's 441 grams. And finally, we weigh the last screen, which is 150 grams. We now can look at the calculations. We can see what percent is each of the screens. We add this all up. We had about 752 grams that we shook out. That's a bit on the high side. I prefer 600 grams. And you can see we had none on the top two screens, the number four and number eight. We have those screens there for high moisture corn primarily. Then we have 21% on the number 16 screen, 59% on the 30 screen, and 20% on the pan or the flour screen. So another question is, what does that really represent? Finally, let's interpret our results. On this, you can see the five screens are listed across the top, and then different types of corn you may have on dairy farms. First one, a very wet high moisture corn, an intermediate high moisture corn, a very dry high moisture corn. You will notice that as the corn gets drier, we move from a coarser particle to a, to a finer particle to make sure we get good utilization and fermentation. You also notice that once the corn gets below 25% dry matter, it will function much like dry corn. And this is dry shelled corn, and there's the guidelines listed there. And finally, there is our sample that we did here, the shakeout. You can see, again, nothing on four and eight. Again, 21% on the number 16 screen, 59% on the number 30 screen, and 20% in the pan. Shakes out very well. This is going to be somewhere around seven to 800 micron, average micron size for this dry corn, almost ideal.